Hey, you crazy motherfuckers. Welcome back to another edition of Crazy Truth. I'm the host with the most. I'm Cole. I'm here with the lovely, lovely, and babbly Miss Amanda. Hey, I'm Oh, I meant not. to say bubbly. My bad. <laughs> oh, <dick. laughs> Anyways, we are here to titillate, uh, titillate, and do other things to and your spoo. life. <laughs> and spoo. And spoo. We're here to spoo. We're here to fucking toggle your nads. Uh, with knowledge and information. You only have one. <laughs> so, yeah, well, you're supposed to be toggling other people's, and I'm toggling their titties, you're toggling their nuts. Okay. What do we have to have keep one? bringing, what do we have to get, well, then you know how to do it, because I only have one. Why do we have to keep bringing up my, my, my heaviness on one side? <laughs> I mean, I'm, well, I'm that was me and my saw today, and it had something to do with. My my one nut? No, it had oh, something to do God. with two nuts and a protein drink, and I'm like, well, what if it only has one? <laughs> That's so... You know, it's really damn sad. When, even even with everything that was going on this week, I was cracking nut jokes. My you dad's were... funeral, I'm cracking nut jokes. That's fucked up. That's, that's a snug grass as it gets right there, just saying. Anyways, okay. Oh, but we shouldn't use your last name. <gasps> oh my gosh, our identity's ruined. <laughs> Otherwise known as Batman. Oh, fuck, never mind. Too late. Okay. Uh, oh, so, hey, this is season four. Four. Season four. Mark that down. Dora, <laughs> get your handy-dandy notebooks out. Uh, that, that's Blue's Clues, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Get, totally your handy, yeah whatever. get your handy-dandy notebook out. This is season four, episode 146. Do you realize it's 146 times that we've done this fucking thing? That's how much we love what we do. Because it is fun. We do enjoy doing it. Uh, anyway, so a quick shout out to our our sponsors. Hey, you know what? Tits may sag, balls may drop, but a brain is beautiful forever. That's right, kids. Don't forget, uh, don't forget, oh God, to uh, be a reader and read ASN Lifestyle, ASN Lifestyle Magazine. Three million readers a month. Can't be wrong. Uh, reading is smart and sexy, so be three million and one. Uh, and, and, and you be three million and two. And over there in the back, you be three million. Three. Okay, you get the idea. Uh, read, check out the magazine today. Don't forget also their awards. You can uh, take in and uh, vote, and you can vote for us and all kinds of things. We'll talk about that a little later. Mike, that is the greatest comment ever. He says, I am like a mounds bar and an almond joy all in one. Because one side I feel like a nut. One side I don't. Anyways, uh, also, you listen to the mag. No. Fuck. You listen to the shows, you read the mag. Come on, motherfuckers, go buy some swag. That's right, fullswapshop.com. Hey, you want to know what? It's really funny. Actually, as we record on Sundays nights, uh, so tomorrow there is 17 orders going out, uh, people that have more swag coming their way. So check out fullswapshop.com today and support your podcasters, magazines, and whatnot. We've got some new shows getting ready to come on board. We've got new merchandise getting ready to go up. So uh, check it out. Check it out often. So there you go. Doodly doodly doo. I did what you did. I painted my nails, but they're like tan. Mine are, mine are black. Mine are painted black. Mine go along with the Rolling Stones. I can't sing a few verses because I don't want to get hit. Bop, oh my gosh, bum. no shit. Uh, whoa, what was that? Did I was going to do around? black. Right. But then, then we match. At work it rubs off on paperwork. Oh, did your boyfriend not like when you do black? Is that too dark? <laughs> what does that have to do with shit? I don't know. I just want to throw it out there to ask you about your boyfriend. Because that's what I do. So I'm talking to my mom this weekend. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, so I, I never told her. I mean, she knows what we do, obviously. And, and I, you know, the bonding of everything. She knows what we do. And she knows about our podcasts and, our, and the merch and all this shit. And, uh, but she didn't know we'd ever actually done a show talking about the after my mom and dad found out about what we do, and my mom was like, "Can I listen to it?" And I'm like, "No, mm. honey, <laughs> no, that, that ain't happening. Why not? Why not?" I'm like, "No, you're not." Oh no, it got funnier. Yeah, it what gets about funnier. The, what about the the flowers and stuff? Oh well, hold on, I'll get there. So and so then I told her, I'm like, "Well, I'll tell you what. It's in, at some point in time, we'll have you on, and you can talk about." You know, when you found out, whatever. She's like, really? I can be on your podcast? That'd be great. So at some point in time, that's right. I'm, I'm going to have my... I'm having in front of your mom. I, I will. I don't even fucking care. <laughs> at some point in time, I'm going to have... My mom is going to be a guest on one of our podcasts. 
And so that'll be fun. So we'll make sure we talk about your boyfriend that night. <laughs> hey, send in your questions about Miss Amanda's cooter. My mom's going to be here. Uh, <laughs> Miss, dear Miss Amanda, your vagina is the bomb. <laughs> it's so pretty and pink. It's addictive. Mm, it's addictive. <laughs> I can't wait. That'll be the greatest show ever. Uh, so yeah. that that might be a two-hour episode. I don't know. We'll see on that one. Wow. What we will do, we talked about, it, is trying to get your boyfriend and my mom to come in at the same time to do this fucking show. That'd be awkward as fuck and funny as yeah, hell think? for me. Anyways, uh, yeah. So then the other thing, and, and some of our, our some of our friends uh, sent uh, cards and stuff. If people that don't know, my my dad passed away, and his funeral was just last week, and and whatever. Uh, which is, you know, shitty, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, some of our great, our great friends and stuff, tons of support from the community, the lifestyle community. We really appreciate it. And a lot of folks sent cards and flowers. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know, a lot of times they go through and they will take and read who the flowers are from. They do. And they do. And so the thing is, is so, and people would sign their cards, whatever. They just put their name they, in, and, and we're like, well, they're just friends and whatever. So, but my mom this then this weekend asked me about those, and I'm like, those that's a swinger friend, <laughs> that's a swinger friend, that's a really good swinger friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, yeah, yeah. This is a swinger club, uh, yeah. So she goes, well, they're so nice. <laughs> Yeah, they're fuckable too. <laughs> just, just saying. What did she so, say about the one? Uh, well, is she just on your page? Yeah, yeah. The what? The one she goes. Is she, is she just a fan? Is she just on your page? Your family? No, she she's a really good friend. But she's on your page. Yeah. Have you know? Do you know her very well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I sure do. And then uh, she's like, oh my. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then she figured out what that meant. Uh, and. and <laughs> I think when I said, you know, I'm going to get to know her even better here in a couple of weeks. So I, that, She wanted you to read all the condolences on the oh, page. Oh, yeah. She, want, she wanted and to And you just, go, do you want me to tell you who we fucked and who we haven't Yeah, fucked? and she's like, oh, no, no. I'm like, there you go, Mom. <laughs> just stick with a lot of people who were very nice and gave us some love. Let, let's go that way, shall we? So, yeah, there you go. No, we're not showing her Pornhub. <laughs> no. No, but she, it, you know, all anybody who appears on her show gets like the 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 swag bag. So I guess she'll get the signed eight by ten glossy of your vag that you can sign. Would it be inside. wrong for me to give her a dildo? <laughs> you know what? What a great set! Can you picture if I could get her to do this? Is so fucked up. I am so going to hell for this. If we could get like sex toy reviews by mom. Do you remember oh, when David? Le do, you, do you remember when David Lemon used to have his mom on to do shit? I mean, years and years ago. Can you imagine if my mom came on and did a sex toy review? Do you know how do hard you that, want do you, to do you picture know your mom holding up this eight-inch dildo and going, "I had a lot of fun." No, with this I don't. Night. But but it would be so funny. Like it would make me physically nauseous and sick. But I also know it would be fucking hilarious and probably would be viral in a heartbeat. Oh, good God. Mom's gangbang corner. Oh, Mom, stop it. Mom's toy shop. Oh, jeez. Oh, nasty. <laughs> it's not nasty. It's natural. But I don't want to. What I like is the I boy. I bet you she doesn't own any toys. I'll bet you we're not going to find out until after. <laughs> we're going to go through shit years and years down the road. Just saying. Wait till she comes to me and goes, Amanda, I need some help. Oh, my God. If I have to go to the sex shop and buy her a fucking dildo, I'm going to die. Anyways... Oh Likely God, a boner killer. You. It could be a boner killer, yes. Hey, this is recommended by Crazy Truth's mom. <laughs> oh, God. Also, I'm getting this marketing picture of her sitting so there going, <laughs> holding the dildo. Okay, so for those of you that are listening, you're going to hear us interject. You don't know, we do this live in front of our uh, secret, secret Facebook group, Casma Inc. Shh, don't tell the others. <clears throat> Uh, it and, used to be crazy, cast, but someone had to be a dick. And yeah, so yeah. And it wasn't you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for, surprisingly, it wasn't me this time. Weird. Wait, uh, what? Just <laughs> shut her I've made that comment. Wait till she wants to go to a party. Oh, and say, my fucking oh, God. Oh, but, but, but. At we'll the, have the multi generation because no, we got pause. Like, two kids. So I'm standing there with Cole and the kids, which are all adult men. Right. And this girl walks in. Oh, yeah. All five of us are staring at her, <laughs> and we're like, 
Who's that? <laughs> she was a hottie. She is a hottie. She's older than Cole the boys. Cole managed to, like, when she went to go sit up on the side, Cole managed to go talk because, well, he has every reason to go talk to someone because they're there to trip, you know. Yeah, absolutely. For his dad. Plus, I wasn't going to let the kids be the one to pick up somebody at my dad's funeral. That seems weird. So, so like, who is it, Dad? Who is it? Yeah, no shit. Well, come to find out it was someone that his mom used to work with. Well, she was but coming she over is, today for, for lunch. lunch. She is way younger than... Well, and, she's younger she, than we are. Yeah, she's younger than we are. But, but I'm just like, well, tell the boys your mom are like, that you want to hook up with her and see oh, if God. she'll hook her the, boy, the boys are like... Dad, did you see her back tattoo? I'm like, yeah, hello, relax. We're at a fucking... She had kicking legs. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so... She's a hottie. Yeah. I'd have gone after that. <laughs> well... I might have scared we're still, shit out we're, of her, we're, still, we're still working on things. We're still we'll, working we'll, on We'll, we'll see oh, where yeah, that you goes. you her on Facebook. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, shoulders to cry. Anyways, okay, so... This is why we're going to hell. This is exactly <laughs> why we're going to hell. Because here's the thing. I'm not even going to lie. Because the boys are like, uh, and I'm like, you three ain't gonna go over there and strike out like retard over there. That well, they happening. were over here, they were over what yesterday, and they go, Did you ever find out who that girl oh, was? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're just standing there all but whacking on. Them. I'm like, Put it away. And I like drift over. Hey, mm. baby. Uh, anyways, okay. Let's get on with stuff that will not get us booted off the air. <laughs> or whatever. Maybe. I don't even know. Who fucking knows? Our questions tonight kick ass because our questions are not. Normal questions tonight. Oh boy. You okay. So, with these so no, 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 no. So because normally our questions are like it seems like our you know they're it's almost like procedural issues that we we deal with a lot of times. Okay. You know why well, I don't you know teeth or no teeth or you know that kind of shit. Okay. Tonight the questions uh, are awesome because they're more personal questions. Like this is like Dear Abby tonight kind of sort of thing happening. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. Yeah, no shit. Boys start getting money. Yeah, mom. If, if, yeah, you've been like close the deal on it. You'll probably be that. I'll probably be happening. I'll get the big video camera for that. Darn it. Anyways, okay. So, um, let's break out our handy dandy readers, kids, shall we? Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> or else is Jerry Garcia. However you want to look at <laughs> I it. will survive. <laughs> okay. We have been in the lifestyle for three years. We have a couple that we have played with a lot over the last year. The sex is great, and we have fun, but we have realized that they only play with us in private. At hotel takeovers or big events, they are nice, I'm doing little quotey fingers, nice, but it seems fake and distant. They never play with us. Also, they get uh, they get invited to house parties, some that are open to bringing people, and we are never invited. And if we are both on a guest list of a party, they won't show up. They'll make an excuse. When we tried to talk to them about this, they blew it off and got uncomfortable. They're embarrassed by us. What do we do? This is from Mike and Deb in Austin, Texas. There's a new one for you. Are we sure we're not reading too much into it? Well, okay. So so I reached out because, that's again, that, that's my first thought. Okay. But so... This is coming from them, not me. Obviously, we're you know there. Everybody has is different, and as I I got them both, they both responded to me. Okay. okay. So the other couple, uh, again, they dubbed the other couple couple relatively popular, pretty pretty popular couple in the lifestyle, well known. They've been in the lifestyle longer than they have, uh, but they're pretty well known in the lifestyle, and they're always kind of with the popular kids. They're always. They have large groups around them. They talk to lots of people. Everybody knows them uh, along those lines. And they're usually with some of the more, as they, in quote, to quote uh, Deb, they're the ones that are always with the most attractive people at the party. I'm like, okay. And I said, what do you dub attractive? And the response back was, not, we're just average plain Jane. You know, they're attractive. Uh, he put... They have a Corvette. They have uh, uh, they always super expensive outfits and clothes. And that they're just... I said, okay, so why do you feel like that, that you know, they obviously have a great time. He goes, but they only, they won't, they just don't even acknowledge them really out in public. They feel like out in public, they're like somewhat polite, but basically just blow them off. 
as he put it, Mike goes, we feel like we're that moped that they ride that they don't want anybody to see that they ride. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And, and so my thing was, I said, have you, you know, if they're busy, if, they're, if they go, do they go to a lot of events? They go to all the events. Okay. They're everywhere. So there's no shortage of events, uh, whatever. But they have said one of the things they enjoy is that they really get to be more relaxed with Mike and Deb. And they get to, it's just more fun with Mike and Deb because it's one-on-one. -on -one, and that's the excuse they use for continuously not wanting to play with them at other events. So my follow-up question to that was, are you sure they're even playing at other events? Because let's face it, mm -hmm. some people enjoy going to hotel takeovers mm -hmm. or, or a big event. But just because they enjoy going doesn't mean that they actually play. play right. And he goes, no, they play. Their room is the hoppinest room everywhere. So. You just let me know <laughs> when you're wanting me to no, jump in. Uh, you, you, you jump in. I, I want to I get, get your opinion on this. Or what you feel, what you think. <laughs> Where to start? I love our listeners. Um, <laughs> I, I, okay. First off, <laughs> well, I'm like going, okay, there's like so many different thoughts because right. you have discretion, which they could be, be nice about not, not pointing fingers, but keeping the right. private, keeping who they part, play right. with and who they don't. Um, they're keeping you, yeah, they might be keeping you out of the popular people, but the popular people sound a little bit stuck up and, and uptight that you right. don't want to hook up with them anyway right maybe they don't want you to get in part of that because they are afraid that you'll become one of the popular ones and then you won't give them a chance true and now okay now okay pausing that's a really unique perspective because i didn't i didn't think of looking at it from it could be their own insecurities that they would hate that they go well mike and Deborah are super cool and everybody's gonna like them more like if i take if i take the boyfriend Right. To a party, okay. He's he's on, on he, he's. Oh. We'll just keep it that. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. I take him to a party, uh, and he hasn't been to one, he's gonna be really quiet, not very social. No, once somebody, he, he, if he's with our, if he goes with our group or something, and ends up getting laid, and people are gonna go, oh my god, he's like awesome. Right. With sex, then he becomes popular, and then I'm and like, then, oh, then, oh, I and wish then, I wouldn't have introduced him to anybody. Would you actually be like that? No, okay. not really. But now, I'm just trying to give okay, an example. So, now, Mike has a good one, but wow, tough one. Certainly see where they're coming from, but without an open, honest convo, hard to tell. Could be other couple, just like multiple experiences, and already playing with Mike and Deb in private, so don't feel the need to play at public events. That's a really good point, you know. Uh, that that's a really good point. Shelly has a good point. I wouldn't want to be anyone's uh, closet screw. I can understand that. I wouldn't want to be the. I don't. I don't want to be the backup player. And then Amy had a good point also. Maybe at events they don't really uh, want to play with your regular playmates because you see them more often. Uh, yeah. And then Shannon put they could be protecting them from from possible toxicity. And and that's those are all good points because Very good point. because here's the thing. I never thought of that. I mean, I of the they play in they have a special bond in private, you know, that they said they feel more relaxed, they obviously can kick back and chill and whatever. And it's more fun than the uptight and, people. And, and and because I can honestly say sometimes when you're at an event, kind of how what this is gonna make me sound like a dick and I don't don't mean to be, but because people know us, okay? I'm not saying we're anything special because we're not. But because people know who we are, it it can be intimidating to play in a, or there there's more stress for me personally to play at a hotel takeover, and in, in like a big group setting because because just because people know who I am, I'm not special. I'm trying to say so I don't get dicks. I'm not being an asshole. A dick. Fuck you, cunt. <laughs> but okay, so I can see that, and where it's like here they found this couple that they can totally be themselves. Mm -hmm. They can totally be relaxed and chill out and just be real with 
and they don't want to spoil it. Now, that doesn't mean they shouldn't maybe be a little more friendly or I, I think it, it could go so many different directions because it doesn't necessarily mean that they're blowing you off but on one side they could be well but I, I don't and I think it comes down to communication a little bit I think Mike mentioned on it too the other couple needs to express what what their deal is I mean it look if, if your deal is hey look you're a regular you're you hold a special relationship thing you know we don't want to ruin that okay communicate that let people know mm -hmm. which I, I don't know okay what do you think about this I know they they said they had approached them I asked them how they approached them it was not one-on-one -on -one. that was oh. that was it was kind of more in no, a group you setting do it in private my thing is I think that Mike and Deb need to they need to be honest I mean even though it's not a, an individual it's not it's still another couple. They need to set them down when it's just them. You know, like when they're going out to dinner before they go play or whatever and say, here's how we feel. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I guess there's probably a risk that if you do that, that, you know, they could, they could say, well, we're not, they could get pissed, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess, you know, because Shelly, go back to Shelly's point where she goes, I don't want to be anybody's closet fuck. Isn't every shouldn't everybody if you discretion should be a closet fuck? Well, because you're not necessarily going to go. No, but what she I think what she means and and Charlie jumped But I also wrong. think it's really asshole to avoid talking to people because what you're high and mighty. Well, yeah, I mean, we talk to everybody at a party. It doesn't mean we've played with them. It doesn't mean we haven't played with them. But we talk to everybody at a party. Right. Well, okay. So back up. I think what Shelly means is that you're just on standby. That you know you're not good enough to fuck someone. Second chance. Second. Second, yeah, yeah. The end of the night, fuck. You know when it's like, okay, well, every the the quality people are Second gone. Choice. So yeah. What do we always call it? I don't want to be your third choice. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to be your last call, fuck type thing. You know, um, okay, Mike has another good point. We all tend to assume the worst, a.k.a. Uh, you want to say that word for me? Because I can't all of a sudden. Uh, say it, cunt. Jesus, Jesus. Anyways, cast cast catastrophe. Fuck me. Uh, they still play <laughs> with Mike and Deb. So, obviously, they like Mike and Deb. Maybe Mike and Deb need to explore more at public events. Some people just like more strange uh, in, in the end, need to talk as we are, see more. Uh, talk in the, in the end and need to talk as we are missing one very important uh, side, of the situation. side of the situation. That's very true. And if I could have read that so it made sense, like, without me chopping it, it up. You chopped it, but that's okay. I, I, well, this is, a, that's another great point. I think that Mike and Deb have a great opportunity here. Okay, so instead of sitting in the corner, and I don't know if they are or not, right? Right. But go meet people. Go walk. Look, you know somebody that's in the group. You don't have to talk to them. If you want to meet some of the other people over there, walk up and meet some of those other people. Mm -hmm. Actually, if this couple is all that in a bag of chips, be confident. Maybe, maybe this couple is waiting for Mike and Deb to... They don't want people to assume that Mike and Deb are just their, their posse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're not just they're not just hanger on, and they're waiting for Mike and Deb to, you know, strut their own stuff. That happened with us. Think back to when we were new. Think back to a couple that had turned into haters down down the road. But actually, they did us a huge service. I didn't you know, I didn't oh. think about this at one time. But remember when they first took us, we first started hanging out with, we'll call them Couple X, and they knew... I don't even know if I'd call them that. They knew a shit ton of people in the, in the, the lifestyle that we didn't because we were new. Mm -hmm. And initially, we went to places and stuff and met them there, and we were just like, I'm not going to say the third wheel, kind of, because, you know, they knew everybody, and they would introduce us to some of the people, but... They did their own thing. We were just kind of like there mm -hmm. until we finally went, okay, fuck this. And then we 
it, it, you know, it's like, okay, well, and we started meeting people ourselves, you know, then we use that and launched and, and, and grew. So maybe this other couple is kind of waiting for Mike and Deb to spread their own wings in, in a way they want them to. They don't want to say, hey, Mike and Deb, quit being just followers, go meet people. So they're going to, it's kind of like kicking them out of the nest, so to, so to speak, you know. Uh, and that, Shannon has a good point too. The other couple may honestly not consciously be doing it uh, as they've known uh, the other people longer. Very true. I can honestly say that happens. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're talking to somebody new because we try. We try. We're not perfect at it. I know that's hard to believe. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. You want to giggle? Really? Jesus. Anyways, we try. Fuck I it, had man. thoughts going in my head. Damn it! You made me lose them. We we try if there's someone new to include them. Mm-hmm. But what starts to happen is, you initially you're including them, but then you get to talking because you have a relationship with the other people, and it's like if they don't jump in, they kind of get. That's where people miss misread clicks. Uh yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree with that. Because you, it's just going with who you're comfortable with. Now we're the first to defend the the underdog. Yeah, we are. And, and screw the pretty people. Yeah, no, we're we're look. It, I don't care what you look like. I don't care who you are. I don't care about any of that shit. If you have guts enough to come to an event, whatever, then we want to try to take and uh, get you involved. But but I'm going to say this now because we're all human. By the same token, if you're new and, and look, if you latch on to us, which is fine, it doesn't mean I'm just going to coddle you the whole night. No. I mean, if you want to follow us around, whatever, that's fine, and, and we'll try to remember to introduce you. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop our our what we're doing as far as that goes. But you know, we want to try to include people. We hate seeing people just like looking lost because we've been there. Mm-hmm. We've all been there, you know. So I, I don't know. I, I guess here's my thing: Mike and Deb find the silver lining in this. Yeah. Okay, don't, like, like uh, I think Mike is sitting there, don't automatically assume the worst. Mm-hmm. You know, just like you assumed you were going to get fired from work and you weren't, so you had a gift card. Fucking twit. Anyway, <laughs> I think Let's somebody saw us. Story. Finish your thought. Anyway, you to tell that story. Uh, so, you know, don't assume the worst. I mean, if you want to talk to him, talk to him, but try to find this, use this as an opportunity to branch out and, and meet some more people. What you may find is if you can bring some people to the table f- to meet your other friends, then then go with it. Don't just assume the worst. If it's really a big deal, then have a conversation with them. Reach out, talk to them when it's when you're in your alone time with them, mm-hmm. and say, "Hey, look, this is how we're feeling. Maybe we're reading too much into us. Just tell us what's going on, right? You know." So that that's the, that's the, that's the that's my that's that's my two cents. There you go. That's really? so cute. Yeah. That's the best you get. What's going on with you tonight? Are you here? Are you with it? What? Did I dick you silly earlier today that it's just, you're still... <laughs> Maybe. What? Wow. You're just all like quiet and shit. Because I I don't usually have thoughts going in my head. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let me explain that a little bit differently. Okay, that'd be a great idea. <laughs> I have the ability to clear my mind and not think of a damn thing. You're like a Jedi. And it's like it's like I've always done meditation all my life without ever knowing it. So I can In sit school here... they called that spacing out, but okay. Exactly. But usually when people space out it's because they have fifty million thoughts in their head. Right, yeah. You know how that feels. I do know how that I feels. Don't. I don't. Yes, so I when know. it does happen. I'm sitting here trying to think of what I'm going to say next. And you're just looking at me like, are you going to say something? I'm like, well, I have thoughts running in my head. <laughs> okay, so a picture inside of my brain is like this. <laughs> if you think of the movie Jurassic Park, the first one, the very first one, when they're sitting the there. The moon was Friday. When they're sitting there and they are look, watching the, the movie and the little cartoon DNAs are like zipping around. That's my brain. Yeah, mine's not. Mine's Amanda's going, brain. <laughs> Amanda's, Amanda's brain is like playing Pong on level one. Doink. 
Doink. <laughs> Peter Dick. Doink. No. Doink. Doink. Are you done? Doink. Actually, you know what I fuck it? You know what I listen to? Doink, 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 doink. Actually, no. It's the fan of the computer. Can you hear it running? Great. Now everybody else will be able to hear it running, too. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, my fucking lord. Okay. So then I was on the thought of, of the whole work thing. So we were gone Monday and Tuesday, right? <laughs> the Saturday before, I had gone up to... Get uh, cock blocked. <laughs> yeah, I did get cock blocked. I was supposed to meet up and... Was, no, that was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. I was supposed to meet up with them, so I went up to work and, and played counselor. <laughs> it was fabulous. So, um, but there was a co-worker that saw us milling around. So I'm like, <laughs> ah, shit, they kind of saw us. So Monday and Tuesday, we were off work. Wednesday, I get to work, and I didn't have access to one program. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. And then I had an email from the HR saying, I need to speak to you as soon as you come see me when you get in. Well, I get there an hour and a half before you do. I'll come see you. No, two hours. <laughs> so I was sweating it for an I get a, hour. I get a going, text at 7 30 in the morning. What if somebody I think we're, I'm getting fired. I think I'm getting fired. I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, there you go. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck am I going to say? So I had to go do safe with the boss man. And we get in there and I said, I don't have access to this on a computer. He goes, oh, he goes, well, I got in trouble, so I had to take some people off. But you just send it to me and I'll post it. And I'm like, okay. And I said, well, and then I got an email from HR. Am I, like, getting fired or what? He goes, oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank God. No, they gave her a fucking gift card. For 100 bucks. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> this, this, is, this is why we do this. This is, this is my world. Hey, it's halftime. Is this a fucking game? Yes, it is a fucking game. Everything, it's a, it's my fucking <laughs> hobby. That's okay. what I call it. Every time, every time we have these guys, this is my hobby. That's my dick. That's not a um, hobby. My penis is not a hobby. It is mine. <laughs> well, the thing is, you've you got lots. say anything to that. The thing is, you've got lots of hobbies. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. But I that I run to. i <laughs> consistent. <Okay. laughs> And me. <laughs> no, you were the one jack. I know, I'm just fucking like, I gave you morning sex. I gave you sex before we brush. You know what's funny? When we have morning sex, we both don't look at each other when we fuck. Because we both have morning breath and we know it. That's Think true. About that. yeah. Yeah. How much kissing no, do you No, I had coffee breath and you don't like that, so I wasn't going to breathe on you. Yeah. So it's still in Because I had been sex, up for a couple hours and yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go cuddle with Cole. Since you know we have a king size bed and we're both on opposite edges, so I'm like I hello, went to go hello, cuddle hello, with you. Hello. Yeah. you know, unlike you, which automatically turns to fucking. But I was just like, no, I'll just cuddle. I was I cuddled for a while <laughs> and, and like my dick my got hard. It is what it is. Okay, halftime. Yeah, halftime. The halftime show. Uh, I don't have anything. Good. Hey, so get ready. Uh, what do I want to talk? About? I don't have any voice. I don't know what the fuck vote. I'm doing. Huh? Vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote. Yes. Yeah, go to uh, ASM. Seriously, can you be a little bit more serious about that? Ah, God damn it. Go to ASMLifestyleMagazine.com, and for their awards, you can vote. We are up for, like, multiple awards. We're up for Crazy Truth is up for Best Adult Podcast. We're uh, up for uh, uh, Adult Entertainment Podcast is, is Crazy Truth. Uh, Best Expo, Crazy Winter Nights. Uh, Best Online Retailer, Full Swap Shop. Best uh, supporting website, full swap shop, something else, full swap shop. So we're up for like eight awards. So go on and vote. You can vote every single day. New startup business. Once a day. A new, new business, full swap shop. And our good friends at Midnight Devils are up for uh, uh, entertainment, lifestyle entertainment. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, I, I nominated Fuck. them, actually. Yes. So oh, I nominated hell. So yeah, so vote for them as well. So check us out, vote us in. Whatever, that's one thing. Number two. Go to crazycasma.com. Check out our website. we got all kinds of cool shit on there uh, about us. There's more stuff going to be coming soon. We're working on it. So make sure you check out crazy, K-R-A-Z-Y, Kasba, K-A-S-B-H, at, uh, no. It, fuck, just a dot fuck, com, not a dot. Fuck, 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 <laughs> Crazycasma.com. There's um, no dot in there. And also, be listening, fullswapradio.com. It's up and running. It's going to be better. We're going to start moving our shows to Sunday nights on FullSwapRadio.com. That's our radio station. We have multiple, for right now, we have multiple of shows 
on full, for right full now, swap just, ra- <laughs> on full swap radio.com. I promise you we are changing the way you're gonna listen to podcasts. Stick with us, kids. Go big, go home. And if people who don't like it can pretty much go fuck off, because I don't care. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Uh, okay. Uh, Tell so, me what you want, what you really, really want. Don't do that. We can get sued I for said that it. shit. No, fuck off. Yes. Oh, that's right. We can't. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're back. I'll have voices. You know, I'm going to, we're going to have new stuff out. coming. We're going to, no, you're not to. We're going to have new stuff coming. Are we ready for question number two? Shall we, shall we continue to move forward to questions? Sure. I'm getting warm. It's because you turned the heater cold. up. My feet are cold, oh, but my boots okay. are sweating. <laughs> Oh, Lord. You know, it's fun. At some point in time, we're going to be able to do these on a station where you can sit there naked. We can do the show naked. Or you can do it naked. No one cares if I'm naked. Okay. Okay, this question, I can't wait to get the feedback from our page as I can do this question. Do what? This question. This oh, feedback? Are you, are, you, are you listening to anything that I say today? No, I couldn't understand that part. Don't be a dick. I'm very blonde acting today. Sexy as fuck and very blondish. Okay, so come on, blondie. Okay, so here it is. We have been playing for five years. We used to play as a couple, but many times uh, my husband does not want to play. To play. Well, fuck. He likes to watch other couples and masturbate. I still go play. My husband does not get off watching me. Before COVID... And since, we have really been treated badly, and people are starting to say that my husband is a creeper. Uh, it's what he enjoys. How is that being a creeper? This is from Michelle and Tony in Chicago. <laughs> Rob's naked. Good, Rob. That's what it should be. Uh, okay. Do, do you need me to read the question again? No, I heard it. Okay. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> so at first on one hand it can be and on well, one hand it cannot <laughs> depends which hand one hand would be the normal hand one hand would be a stranger <laughs> in the night i gotcha okay oh, serious. <laughs> um, okay so i read this question and that was my first thing was like okay well that's kind of a you know yucking somebody's yum type thing Whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, but if people don't know. Uh-huh, awesome. My, they're naked as well. God, everybody's naked watching our shows. Text us your pictures. No, what are you doing? No, <laughs> no, no, no. You can get us booted on all the different things. Stop it. And Okay. Anyways, back to where we're at. I won't take my shirt uh, off. J- focus. Focus for two seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Shannon put communicate, communicate. Uh, well, are they still having sex together? No, they're not having sex together. At uh, all. At all. Uh, he just needs to make sure the couple knows that's his thing. Uh, and Shelly's naked as well in the tub. Awesome. Okay. So we get, we make people get naked. Okay. Here's the thing. This is, you guys are all exactly right. I read this question. I'm like, okay, why would people think he's being a creeper? So I reached out to them. Okay. This is where shit gets a little bit, a little bit more bizarre. Amy, I can't believe you're not naked. Step up your game. Uh, okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> cut Amy some slack. so when when I reached out to them, the problem has been. What are you doing? I'm zipping my pants. Okay. 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 Is that okay with you? I'm gonna stop. And put your cooter away for just a little bit. I'll, I'll wait. It's, are you gonna it's, wait? It's all good. Okay. It makes for great listening. <laughs> Anyways, when I reached when I went reached out to them. Here is the problem with it. I asked them, I said, so going to events, he is watching other couples, and he's, he's talking to other couples, and he's watching them have sex, and he masturbates. What am I missing? I'm like, you're not missing anything. I said, so who's saying he's a creeper? Are people that are watching him masturbate to the jack off to the couples, are they saying creep, are, that he's being a creeper? No, the couples having sex are saying he's being a creeper. Okay, we'll pause. Is he like going into rooms where just one couple or two couples are having sex and he's sitting off to the side jacking off? If that here, there, we've had you, that happen to there's us. There's where the the change falls in with this. What has happened is 
that well we kind of had it, it, happen. it it's it's been a couple of different ways that this has happened they have been a couple were at a house party it sounds it sounded like a bigger house party like 10 15 couples pretty good size house party okay so everybody's naked and he's just walking around just walking up to whoever's bucket and just sitting there jacking off just watching house party not as big a deal but it's also been at hotel takeovers and it has been at other events and he is literally just walking into a room because he doesn't feel like he doesn't feel like he should have to ask because he's not involved in their sex act that he is just masturbating he's just sitting there jack he's walking in on people watching and some and 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 apparently at one event they couldn't get into the room that close is there's it was the door was open but it was kind of blocked so people it was obviously it was okay to watch but not come, go into the room so there's a bunch of people standing there watching and he just starts jacking off well, I, uh, and it's like and i'm so as i'm hearing this i'm like i said so is nobody is he asking anybody he doesn't feel like he should have to ask to do this and and the people are not inviting him they're not inviting him to participate he he his belief is and both of their belief is because he's not acting he's not putting his trying to get his dick involved he's not trying to have anybody touch his dick no but we knew a, a single male mm -hmm. when we were at a party would go up to people and go, do you mind if I watch? Right, exactly. exactly. But he at least asked. He asked. Rob has a good point in lifestyle. Once you're labeled a creeper, uh, you're pretty much fucked, and that's actually pretty Very true. Pretty true. <laughs> Mom is in the room. Oh, good name. Amy, it's going to be something. <laughs> uh, no, okay, so, but here's the thing. Yes, it, even though he is not, I understand... I don't understand it, but I understand the thought process of going, well, he's not wanting to be touched by them. He's not, he's not, I, and I said, I go, he's not coming on them. Or anything. Like, nope, he'll come into, he'll have a Kleenex and come into a Kleenex. He's not coming on anybody. Is he like way away and just watching or is he up close? He He's as close as he can get. Oh, but, but that kind of verges on creepy. If you were going to stand at like the door or... Yeah. What was that? Who knows? Or you're going to, you know, if you're standing up against the wall. Like, we had somebody one time when that one club opened uh, in the bigger town next to us. Yes. We went, and you were having sex with some girl on the bed. I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> and it wasn't having sex, but I probably was eating her out or some shit. But there was a guy that we knew from yes. a different state over that yeah. was sitting in the corner and he was jacking off, and but, then but it he, got to where his wife was sucking his dick. But he was he was a little bit distanced off. We have seen people... It, here's part of the problem. Some people will try to use that as a way to get an invite into something. True. Which Very is true. a problem. Okay, we got all kinds of good comments coming up. Uh, Mike, uh, without an invite... Oh, where the fuck did it just go? Without an invite... Uh, violating some of the most basic rules, yeah. Because without being invited, whether or not you're involved in the sex act, if you're that is a form of a sex act. You should be invited. You should ask permission to do something like that, or be invited. You're not normally gonna. People aren't gonna go. Oh, you want to watch? Right. <laughs> you right. know, so you'd have to be invited. Well, and and Charlotte has a good question. Is he not asking because he doesn't want to interrupt the the flow? I that's don't. A good that's a good question. I didn't ask him. I, it doesn't sound like it, it. It really came across as an entitlement thing of he shouldn't have to. Now, Amy had a great point in here, and this is this is awesome. She put, "I wonder if a woman did this, would she be a creeper too?" Hmm. There is a double standard lifestyle because that is because no one would have problems with a girl doing. In fact, they'd invite her to come on the bed. Uh, yeah, I mean, they uh, most likely. Yeah, a, a girl would have to say, a woman would have to say, no, no, I just want to, I just want to master, I just want to, you know. I just want to. So the the here's the reality of it. Yeah, there is double standards in lifestyle, and it's not fair, and it sucks. But sometimes you have to, you have to. Even though life isn't fair and the rules aren't always fair, mm -hmm. you have to know if you are a guy, and even though you're married and you're walking around, she says she's done it. 
I can I can see that. I can yeah. <laughs> Amy, you dirty girl. Yeah. Uh, if if you are if you just have to understand that there are certain norms you just don't break, social norms and values you don't break, mm -hmm. even if they're not fair. Okay, Mike put one thing: an open public area. Uh, for an exhibitionist is different versus a private room like a club with which is very true you know there if he's walking i didn't ask him if he's walking into closed doors or things like that because again that's not okay a closed curtain a closed door is not okay to invite yourself into no. but it, it it's it sucks because amy is exactly right if it was a woman there would be no problem but it's no different than a strip club if a woman you will go to a strip club and watch women grope strippers all day long. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets thrown out. A guy does that, he's getting his ass fucking thrown out. Now, when we first started going to parties, mm -hmm. um, the very first hotel one that we went to, our door ended up being open and people were coming in. Watch, there was like, what, three couples? Mm-hmm going at it yeah so there was like couples walking in because you were cracking jokes and if one of them would have started rubbing one off it wouldn't have been a big no, deal no but i was drunk and i was cracking jokes because i was like hey look the young the people come in to watch this watch this old people have geriatric sex yeah, i was like because the girl that i was because the girl younger. that i was fucking was like she's like quit calling jokes i can't come if you're telling jokes yeah, because I'm making her laugh, and I was fucking hate. there's more no laughing with dicks in your mouth yeah that was one yeah no laughing with dicks in your mouth um I, I, you, but we used to cam all the time beforehand, so to us it was more just live and more fun. It wouldn't have bothered me. No, it I, still wouldn't bother. It me. wouldn't bother. Rob has a great, a great statement right here. Always tell men to read, quote unquote, read the room, and that is a that's very, very true. What What's the norm? What's the feel of the room? Mm -hmm. That's look. Here's the other thing I'm going to put out there. I ask. I asked Michelle and Tony their ages, and, I, and I'll tell you why I asked this in, in just a second. So they are a little bit older than us, uh, so they are early 50s. Okay. Okay. Here's why I asked this question, and, and this is going to set shit ablaze here a little bit, but if, it, if he was 30-year-old, hard body... Rocking, you know, just fucking solid abs, whatever, and a fucking seal killer dick. Okay. He could probably get away with it more because he would be a higher desirable level than a guy kind of pudgy, you know, in your 50s, thin in hair. Because let's face it, if I go walking, if you take, okay, when I had long hair when I was in my 20s, right? 20 years old, long hair, whatever, ripped up jeans, the whole look, right? Versus 48, longer hair, ripped up jeans, the whole fucking fucking outfit, the whole fucking look, okay? And we and, and you could put us side by side and walk into a bar, a club, or whatever. The 20-year-old version of me could get away with way more than the creepy old guy version of me at 48. That's just a fucking fact. It's just an age thing. Even though I can fuck better, all you 20-somethings, please listen. Even though I can fuck way better at 48 than I can at, could at 20, at 20 right? It, it's just the truth because I'm a creep. I don't I'm, remember it. Yeah, that's how unmemorable it was. Now you come like a fucking asshole. That's not resort. true because you came back and we fucked like rabbits. She went, oh, I'm trying to get a point across. <laughs> God, I'm never going to get to bang anything under 40 again. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the, the thing is, no, but what, it, I mean, it makes sense. A, a guy, where I have bald spots, or spots thinning, they're not bald, they're thinning, so my hair is a little more wispy, <laughs> my long hair doesn't look as cool as it did when I was 20, so it can look, a, a, something can look a little more as a creeper when you're older than when you're younger, and it, it just, it's the reality of the lifestyle. It is what it is. It, look... <laughs> How's another? How's, uh, if okay, here's one. Let's do it this way. This will fucking no, still creepy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. And 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 Anthony, you're right. Still creepy. Don't know who he is. He just walked in the room, stroking. Nope. 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 
if we're in a public area, different story. Okay, I'll give you that one. True. But, okay, but let, let's put it this way. What's a... What's a... <sighs> so, but here... Okay, um, so why did he stop having sex with his wife all together? Uh, uh, he, they still sometimes, but they, he just doesn't get off on it anymore. We, he, and I didn't ask him, and I should have. I fucked up on this one. Because it threw me for a loop. Like, we're not in the hot wife scene by any stretch. Because but, he doesn't watch her. But okay. the thing is, is I still like, I love watching you get fucked. Okay. Okay, it, it, that will fucking rev me up like a fucking none other. So it, it threw me for a loop where he doesn't get off on that. My thought would, you know, that, that, again, whatever, everybody's different, but, you know, uh, he doesn't have, I did ask this, he doesn't have a problem with her fucking, it's not like he, oh my god, I can't watch my wife get fucked, right. it just doesn't do it for him. So, I, you know, here's the other thing that I would throw out here, because I, I just wonder, and this is something that they're going to have to take and figure out, Amy watch, maybe watches too much porn, uh, that could be a really good thing, so a, a porn addiction, so addicted to porn that watching other people jack up or watching other people well, fuck is a hell of a lot more erotic. Well, and and maybe and maybe the thing that he's gonna have to explore is maybe it is a porn addiction. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not so much the watching the other people fuck that maybe he's getting off on the voyeurism for him. He gets off on 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 the voyeurism. And the only reason I think it would be a great. The only reason I think it would be a great thing for him to figure that out is that when he figures out the the part that's really a turn on to him he's going to be able to maximize they're going to be able to maximize their lifestyle experience if he figures out that the voyeurism part of it is the part that's hot for him well then maybe he won't need to be with another couple and and he can set up his own scenes where people are going to come and watch him jack off or i don't know i mean i'm just i'm just throwing that out there you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, now that he's got this label as a creeper, though, uh, um, you know, probably the only thing that he's, both of them, her and especially, is going to have to go around saying, no, he really just likes to masturbate watching people. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think, I think that... That might change it around. <laughs> Amy, maybe he gets off on being a creepy old dude. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Damn it, that's awesome. I love it. I mean, that's so funny. Anyways, uh, no, that's that's what I do. That's what I like to get off on, being a creepy old dude. <laughs> Anyways, well, yeah, no, I think the only way now to, not only are they going to have to go together, she's going to have to go with him to, like, she plays and he waits till she's done playing. And then when he wants to go do this, she goes in with him so that they see they're together. A couple. And see that maybe uh that maybe she says maybe maybe he's not comfortable asking her that kills it for him that she can go in first and go, My husband likes to masturbate to watch, would it be okay? Yeah. You know, they they need to be a team at that point in time. You know, they need to be a a, a team. Mike put it's like two singles going into a party. No single guy should get away with that. You need consent to watch unless public party room. I agree with that. You know, uh, and and Shelly put it again. Also, yes, they need to go as a couple. Going the only way you're going to eliminate this creeper tag is going as a couple, and and letting people know that you're together. Now, her job literally, and this can be the other thing when they figure out what is really his turn on. Very true. But she needs to be. At this point in time, Michelle needs to be Tony's wingman mm -hmm. a little bit and help to reverse that. Here's the thing. With COVID and everything, and there hasn't been as many parties and whatever, there's still a time to save yourself, sort of. Mm -hmm. But you need to actively do that. And, and then look at how you need to change your behavior. So, yes, you can still get what you enjoy, but in a way that is not creepy. Mm -hmm. Look, in the lifestyle, it's almost time for us to go, but in the lifestyle in general... Here's the reality of it. We all have certain things that we like, right, with kinks, and we all hear them say, we say it all the time, don't yuck somebody else's yum. Okay, that's fine, but we also all have a responsibility to make sure that you are, you are thinking about and you're conscious of how your things are going to come across to people. Mm -hmm. A really simplistic example of this is, obviously, you all know I paint my nails black, right? 
I wear black fingernail polish. So there are times when I go to non-lifestyle events, right? I take off my nail polish because I know that with that nail polish, there's going to come, it's going to get a different response from some people, right? So it's the same thing with sex acts and lifestyle. You need to think about that a little bit. Look, if your thing is to carry, you know, you're in a knife play and that rock on, that's your thing. And you like to carry a fucking, you know, a jacket filled with knives, covered with knives from head to toe on you. You got to know if you're walking on a party, you're going to scare some people. Mm -hmm. You have to be conscious of that. So there you go. So there you go. All right. So best of luck. You know what? Best of luck to Mike and Deb in Austin, Texas, and to uh, Michelle and Tony in Chicago. Hopefully we helped. Or something, did. things, yeah, words, good. stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so again, hey, uh, real quick again, shout out to our sponsors. Remember, tits, sag, balls, <laughs> drop, reading, good. Uh, ASNLifestyleMagazine.com. Three million swingers are reading every single day, every month. You know what? You can be three million one. Be a part of a club. Everybody likes to belong. Belong to the readership of ASNLifestyleMagazine.com today and go and vote for us and Full Swap Shop for all the cool stuff. Just saying. You know what else everybody likes to do? Be a part and belong. You know how you belong? Wear cool swag. That's right. You've listened to the shows. Read the mags. Come on, fuckers. Go buy some swag because uh, it's fun. Go to FullSwapShop.com today. Get your swag. Let us get it sent out to you. Uh, and so you're ready to go to party like rock stars. Don't touch that too soon. I have uh, to touch shit. Anyways, also, remember FullSwapRadio.com. We've got shows up the ass on there. It's not just up the ass, but they're great shows all over. All different kinds of shows. Podcasts you want to check it out. FullSwapRadio.com. Send us emails at crazy, K-R-A-Z-Y dot Kasba, K-A-S-B-H, at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at TruthCrazy. Check us out on YouTube. That would be www.youtube.com backslash Casba, K-A-S-B-H. I'd say it slower, but I'm not going to. We're on Instagram. Amanda's Pussy's on Pornhub. It's on OnlyFans. Uh, I don't know. My mom will be finding it soon, apparently. And uh, <laughs> and we do Patreon. But don't forget to check out our own website as well, crazycasba.com. Until next week. Do it the only way we know how. The only way we want to. And the only way we ever motherfucking will. Casma style. Out. All right, kids.